Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, I wanted to cover the possibility of a conflict between Estonia and possibly some other Baltic states and the Russian Federation. I think it's important to understand there is a big difference between what is and what has occurred in Ukraine than what could happen in the Baltics. Let me explain. At the onset of hostilities, the Ukrainians, since 2014, have been fighting the Russians or Russian proxies. The Ukrainians have also created a fairly large military, larger than any military force in Western Europe. That in includes combining both Germany and France in terms of total personnel. I also believe the Ukrainian warrior culture is more prevalent than what you would see in Western European countries other than possibly Poland. At the onset of hostilities, the Ukrainians had thousands of main battle tanks and armored fighting vehicles, most of which, yeah, granted, were of, a, of Soviet or Russian origin or refurbished systems that the Ukrainians have modified, such as the T-64, various BTR models, BMPs, and what have you. So when you talk about what's happening right now with Estonia, the rhetoric that is happening between Estonia and the Russian Federation, the possibility that the United States could send more troops, more forces to Estonia, that the Russians could perceive as a threat. Now, just because Estonia is part of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, that does not mean Estonia is more capable than the Ukrainian armed forces. Look, at the start of hostilities, the Ukrainian military was in excess of 200,000 fighting personnel, with its territorial defense forces probably even much, much higher numbers in terms of personnel. The Estonians have about 7,000 active duty personnel with another 40,000 in their territorial defense forces, which are not even mobilized. The Russians know exactly where many of these Estonian depots are that would provide support, logistics, weapons, to the territorial defenses of Estonia, and they also know where the barracks are in major fighting units of the Estonian military. Compounding that, the Estonians have handed over some of their best equipment to the Ukrainians. So the Estonians are probably in a much less better position equipment-wise to fight the Russians than they were at the start of the Russian-Ukrainian war. So this idea that just because the Russians are having challenges with the Ukrainians, that somehow that would equate to major difficulties for the Russians if they launched a military operation against Estonia. Now some would argue, well, that would mean that uh, Poland and NATO would immediately come to the aid of Estonia. Guys, look where Estonia is. In the next Estonia, you have Latvia, Lithuania, and then you have the actual NATO powers further to the west. Now, some would say, well, Poland, if... Russia were to launch an attack against Estonia, invade Estonia, that Poland would attack uh, Kaliningrad. That's possible. 
But would, would the Poles risk an attack against Kaliningrad with the possibility that the Russians could deploy tactical nuclear weapons? Would the West be ready to engage Russia if it was ready to use tactical nuclear weapons against Western countries? And I would have to argue quite possibly no. How is the United States going to reinforce Poland and then move into Estonia to protect Estonia? Are they going to move forces through the Baltic Sea? How are they going to move forces into Poland? Are the Germans going to allow U.S. forces to enter Germany and then move through Germany, through Poland, into Lithuania, if this access point, the Suwalki Gap, is even still tenable. Which, quite possibly, if the balloon goes up, Russia invades Estonia, one of their next steps would be a move against the Suwalki Gap near Lithuania. So the idea that a Russian invasion of Estonia would be more difficult than its operations against the Ukrainians, I don't believe is reasonable. I think a Russian operation against Estonia would be much more successful than what we're seeing right now in terms of the Russian operation against Ukraine. You cannot compare and contrast the two. You cannot say, well, because Estonia is a member of NATO, that it has a better qualitative fighting force than what we've seen from the Ukrainians. Well, number one, we know the Estonian military is nowhere near the size of Ukraine, doesn't have nowhere near the population that we see in Ukraine, it doesn't have the armaments nor the equipment that the Ukrainians had at the start of the conflict, and then compounding that, the equipment that has been shipped in. It's going to be much difficult for NATO, for the United States, to bring equipment, to bring forces into Estonia than it is to bring equipment in from Poland to Ukraine. This is a whole other animal fighting the Russians in the Baltics. Whole nother issue. Completely different. And then you have to consider, again, these Western nations, especially Germany and other nations as well, are they willing to go to war to protect Estonia? And you could very quickly see NATO dissolve. If Germany and other NATO countries do not come to the immediate aid of Estonia because of Estonian actions that get itself into a war with Russia, that does not mean NATO is going to go to war with Russia over Estonia. Again, the prospect for success if we see a Russian invasion of Estonia, well, however remote that possibility is right now, the actions of Estonia right now are increasing the chance of military activity against Estonia by the Russians. So as we watch this, as we continue to watch the Estonians assist the Ukrainians and other Baltic states as well, but especially Estonia, Estonia is not in a position to poke the bear right now. The United States is not in position to fight a major conventional war in Estonia. Even if Poland fully intervenes, Poland has to drive through Belarus, a Russian ally, which would 
quickly be reinforced with Russian troops, the tenability of Lithuania and Latvia to resist major moves by Russian forces against those Baltic states, I would have to put into question. Again, yes, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, part of NATO, but the size and quantitative and qualitative edge of those forces in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania are not the same as the quantitative and qualitative forces that the Ukraine possessed at the start of its war with Russia. So just because what we're seeing happening in Ukraine right now, between Russia and Ukraine, and this lack of perceived success by Russian forces, that does not equate to what could happen in the Baltics between Russia and the Baltic states, and especially if it's just Estonia and Russia fighting each other. Be careful, Estonia. Be very, very careful. Just wanted to address that. Thought it was worth discussing. Have a good day.